I bought my motherfucking car, you know what I'm saying? It's a historical moment and I need to capture it. You're looking at me like you're trying to catch a vibe. I got the feeling you gon' wanna brag about. I know everything about a lame ass on me. But in the way that you be laying eyes on me, I don't think you want of them. You figure I might waste six figures, go figure. Sliding words to the waiter, got them at your table, they better. We both fucked up, it don't matter, no. It's getting late, but it's whatever, I Now set out for now forever, I know. I'm turned up and he knows how I get when I'm lit like this, when I'm off this liquor. What's popping, you What's guys? Up? Today's a special day. Today's a very special day because I'm gonna get my first whip. Okay, I'm about to go get my first car. I'm very excited. I've been to the dealership twice already. I did not get my car because there was some more shit to sign and everything. Uh, but today's the day. Like today, today. <laughs> Technical issues. But yeah, y'all. Today's the day. I'm going to make my deposit, sign all the remaining papers and shit, and. I'm uh, I'm gonna get this whip. I can't wait to show y'all. You guys, this is a historical moment. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> all these years of my friends picking me up and shit. Mm. You know. It's all, over. Uh, it's over. It's over. It's, it's not over, over, but the tasks are gonna be separated. You know what I'm saying? Like oh my god, I can't wait. I, I'm so excited. It's, it's, it's not over. <laughs> Like, these, girl, these girls are trying to finesse me. Like, Yo. it's not because I get my car that you guys, you know, can play me like that. Amy, <laughs> what? Do catch up? Yo, you're crazy. You're crazy ass bitch. You guys, today's the day. Oh my god. Hey y'all. Today's the fucking day. I'm anxious. Can't wait for you guys to see my car. It's super sexy. Oh. So we're currently at the dealership. I'm waiting for my advisor to take me to my car and stuff. I'm very, very anxious. Babe. Oh, those eyes, man. I love them. <laughs> we got the car, y'all. We got the fucking car. <laughs> Yo, big girls. No makeup. Um, do you realize, like, when we get old, I'm gonna show you this video and we're gonna be like, yo, I remember this shit. No, honestly, guys, I'm hype. Like, I'm super hype. Oh my fuck. Okay. Is it the one? Is it the one? Yes. Oh my god! It's the one. It's the one. Wait. Okay. Ah, it's the one, honey. It's the one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You it smells like new. New. It smells like that. You guys, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Like, I, I'm not even fully realizing it, but I am I'm a car owner, like. Yo, this is my car, dog. This is... Amy. Amy. <laughs> oh my God. So this is it. She this just is... got her car. It's the first drive, you guys. It's yeah, it's period. I'm really feeling like this car belongs to me and it's been waiting for me at the dealership. Oh, like, shit. Like, this is... This is, this is, it's me, like, it's all me. Dang. Oh, you, period. Paid out of my own pocket. Yeah, we paid, period, poo. Yeah, 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 we paid. paid. All right. We paid, okay. Shit. Guys, look yes. at this, look at this babe, yo. Like, like, right now we're going to Wendy's because I just feel like this is 
worthy of a Baconator trio. <laughs> Yo, I ain't playing no more. I ain't playing. I ain't playing with you niggas no more. <laughs> Yo, she's so happy. She's so happy. Yo, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Go see what you got for me that I don't have, nigga. nigga. Uh, the fuck? Siri. Uh, Allez, avancez, 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 vous voyez pas le truc que j'ai là? <laughs> Dépêchez-vous! What's poppin' you too? What's all you too? So I can hear you know what the fuck going on, bitch. You know what the fuck going on? Today's video. <laughs> I'm a bit emotional right now because, you know, today's video is just different. It's gonna hit different. Today's video is about my new car, bitch. It's about my new motherfucking car. Okay. My first purchase, my first baby, my first big girl bill, okay? This is a historical moment. I just felt like it deserved a full video. I'm very excited to introduce you to her because yes, it's a she. Her name is Robin with the Y, bitch. Spell it right. I'm going to give you guys all the details about the car, all the details about the procedure, how I got the car and everything. I'm also going to give you guys the deets about like how exactly I managed to buy the car and my thoughts how i'm feeling right now and everything because i just feel like some people they just put the car up on youtube and be like hey like i bought the car yes ha 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 they don't tell you how it happened they don't tell you how they struggle and shit and like i told you guys i'm very real very transparent about everything that i put on here and i want you guys to have the truth every time so if you're ready to have some details about my baby keep watching bitch so Let's start with the beginning. My car is a Honda Accord. It is a 2020 model because girl, go big or go motherfucking home. I was like, I want to be actually happy about my car because I don't know when I'm going to get a second car. I want to be able to drive in the car and be like comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like luxury. Like, if you know me from my challenge, like, you know, I like to be in luxury. I like to be comfy basically and so i was willing to make a little sacrifice and be maybe a little tight in my finances for a little while just to have this car because it's it's beautiful it is red i'm going to insert some clips of the car so you guys can see the outside as well and today's lighting is just beautiful so you guys are going to be able to see it at its full potential like i said her name is robin i always wanted to have my first car's name as robin i was planning to either have a dog or a car but the car came first so the car's name is robin and that's it about the story behind the car it's actually super insane and the people that know me know that i'm a bit impulsive they're gonna understand my decision they're not gonna necessarily agree with it but they're gonna understand how i did it so i started working from home right during quarantine basically i was always stuck at home and shit like i could never do anything but a bit before we got stuck at home i was still going to the office every single day i was comfortable going to the office first of all because there was nobody there so nobody was fucking bothering me i didn't have to socialize or anything like that and so I was very like okay with going to the office during that time at some point my boss told me you absolutely have to go home like we can't have people at the office anymore you really have to you know take your material and uh, work from home the thing is my parents were becoming a little bit more strict regarding like coronavirus and everything and it was very much annoying because I don't have my equipment to record at home if you don't know me I'm saying I make music I needed to record music like it makes me sick when I'm just stuck at home and I'm not doing shit right so I was like how the hell am I gonna do this like I can't record at home like i can write as many songs as i want but i can't even lay them down or anything like that so this this is not working for me at all and being able to still go to the office i was using my dad's car because he was coming from a trip and so he had to uh confine himself confine i don't know he had to stay at home basically and so i was using his car in order to make every single move sometimes i was calling in sick at work in order to be able to go to the studio because i couldn't tell my parents i was going to the studio they were not having it at all the situation was very very difficult i think i'm going off topic a little bit but all that to say every single move i was making was my car i was using my dad's car all the time and so i became very very comfortable with using a car and moving by car and i became more and more disgusted with public transportation just because i feel like when you're in your car you just have your space like you can do whatever you want you're not scared of anybody coughing on you you're not scared of anybody bothering your space you don't have to let anybody sit instead of you know you sitting and being comfortable and shit and i didn't mind paying gas for that because there's a certain price to comfort you know what i'm saying so i was willing to pay the price in order to use the car and be able to like move whenever i wanted when we got sent to home it was very difficult for me because it was like damn i can't lie to my parents anymore and be like oh i'm going to the studio uh, i'm going to work and go to the studio instead it became very very irritated with the situation but i didn't really have a choice but to you know 
bend to the rules and shit so i was staying at home it was making me very much sick but then afterwards um when we started going out again recently my dad finishes work at what like five or something and he comes home at six and so i was always taking his car in order to go out and do whatever i needed to do and so i got more and more used to like doing everything by car it became very very used to the fact that oh like i have my own space you know i'm i'm using a car and i don't have to like carry everything with me and i can just you know put it on the back seat or put it on the passenger seat and shit the thought of buying a car was installing itself in my head like i was like you know what i really really need a freaking car like i need to be able to you know travel whenever i want and be comfortable the thing is with my dad's car is that obviously it's his car so i can only use it when he's not using it during quarantine um i saved a lot of money because clearly i wasn't going out as much i was still working full time so a lot of money in my pocket and i had also saved a lot of money from the past years i dropped out of school in 2017 and i've been making music ever since i started my youtube back in march and i also had my nine to five going for me so basically i was saving money a bit everywhere it's really hard for me to save money as i have a lot of investments to make i have to put my money in a lot of shit i was making bank you know what i'm saying like i was making a lot of money and i was saving a lot of money even more during quarantine i couldn't film videos i couldn't you know make big investments and shit because everything was freaking closed fast forward to this uh month i told my dad i was like yo i absolutely need a car i know nothing about cars okay my dad knows about every single shit and i don't want to get finessed or anything like that so i asked my dad to come with me my dad is like okay you know let's go to the dealership i know you're not in a rush or anything like that but let's just go and look at the cars to see which one you want so we set an appointment like with my dad to go to the dealership and shit just to look like just basically for me to have a clear idea of what i wanted i already knew that i wanted the honda civic i think it's just so cute it looks like a little spaceship i i love it i had a clear idea of what i wanted so we get to the dealership and i see all those civics and there's so freaking cute and i'm like oh my god like i can't wait to have mine and shit ah, ah, ah. we get into the dealership we start looking at the cars right and i see my car i'm like oh my god my baby's right there i just turn around and i see that beautiful accord and it's red it's intimidating and i was like shit i was like excuse me which car is this and then he's like oh this is a honda accord and i was like is this significantly more expensive than the civic because i think this one's very beautiful and he was like well it is more expensive and it is a sports model uh as well so it's gonna be more expensive than the civic that you were looking at and i just couldn't take my eyes off of it i was like yo it's very very cute and for the people that know me you know that when i have an idea in my head like you're not gonna be able to talk me out of it because i'm gonna do whatever i want if i want that car like it's that car i'm gonna get nobody can really talk me out of like the ideas that i have in my head so we sit down we talk he's explaining to me like the difference between the two cars and everything and i was like you know what to be honest with you i don't even care what's going on with the civic anymore because this is the one i want i did not even care what it was going to take i really wanted that car specifically and he's like i can make an offer to my boss um i can make an offer to you sorry if i talk to my boss and shit to see if um he's going to be okay with it he went to his boss and he came back and he's like well this is what i have for you do you want it and i was like yeah it fit my budget and i knew i was going to be a little bit tight in the sense that i had to make a relatively big deposit for the price per month to make sense i had saved up like i said during quarantine and also during the past years not being a student and working full-time and shit and so i could afford it it's just that i was gonna be tight for the next few months just so i could get my savings back together but if that meant having that car that meant having robin in my hands you guys when i tell you i did not give a single fuck i did not give a single fuck that car was just made for me i could feel it and so i signed the papers on that same day on that same day like i was supposed to get the car within the next months because i did not plan to have that car like at all right not on that day anyway everything was just so sudden and not like even when we left the dealership and i was in the car with my dad i wasn't even realizing that i had just bought a car because it is a big investment it's also something i want to warn people of just don't be in a rush to take a car like i was because i don't regret it 
at all but there were some like surprises in the sense that i did not even know what having a car was about having to sign insurance papers i had to deal with like a bunch of shit regarding the car that you know if my dad wasn't there i don't know what the fuck i would have done because he's the one who told me everything you know and so i signed the papers and the car was officially mine right now i called my friends and i'm like yo i bought a fucking car like this is so crazy to me and they're like what the fuck and one of my friends was like yo i leave you alone for one day and then you call me back and you tell me you have a car like what the fuck is wrong with you and i was like yo i know right within the next few days i I had to go back to the dealership and make my deposit and also sign the remaining papers which i did and i got my car you know i went with my friend and shit actually i went twice back to the dealership i went the second time because i thought that that was going to be the time where i was going to take my car and go back home with it but the lady had a bunch of questions for me and i did not know how to answer them at all and i was like what the hell is she talking about and i did not want to get involved into anything without talking to my dad which is why i don't recommend going to the dealership and making a reckless decision like i did if ever you're not familiar with all the concept of like getting into a big contract or buying a car at all it's something that can you know either help your credit or decrease it like shit you know what i mean so if you're not comfortable please don't go by yourself and make sure that you ask all the questions possible don't give in into the pressure of the person telling you like so are you buying it or not like you know if you're not comfortable if you haven't made a budget plan if you haven't like organized yourself in order to actually have the car like right now don't take it you know what i mean like it involves a lot of shit it involves you putting money into it it involves you being disciplined with your money signing a freaking contract god damn it like it's a lot of shit you know what i mean i don't regret my decision personally and whenever i make reckless decisions i know that i can back them up i'm ready to face any type of consequence so what i would advise you to do is first to make a budget to know if the car that you want is going to fit inside of all of your finances and you have to make a realistic plan what i was doing also when making a budget plan is that i was putting all of my like my basic finances like basically my cell phone all the shit that i pay myself because i'm still you know with my parents and i was also putting money into miscellaneous stupid shit like food um like going out with my friends like a lot of that like i was putting it into my budget so i was sure that i wasn't missing anything and that whenever i do get the car and whatever comes with it like i was not gonna be stuck because i like i like to spend like i said i like comfort and shit so i had to make sure that everything was gonna be okay that's um something i recommend to do i also recommend to go and check i already knew that i wanted a honda so i did not need to visit any other dealership but i do recommend you to go and check like there's a lot of shit around that you can see and that you know you can like afterwards you can look at reviews and shit like that like my dad knows a lot about cars i could just ask him my questions but if i didn't have my dad with me i would have looked online i would have asked around and shit like that just so i could have a clear idea of what the hell i was getting into and so from the title you guys can see like i said i dropped out of school and i bought a car so it's not like i dropped out of school and then right after decided to fucking buy a car you know that was kind of a clickbait sorry but what i mean by that is that i dropped out of school and i decided to make music full-time so i trust my talent i know that eventually i'm gonna get to a place where i'm not gonna need to work a nine to five anymore and i'm just gonna be able to finance everything in my life with whatever income i have for my music but in the meantime clearly i have to, i had to do some shit you know what i mean like i had to work i had to make sure i have some side hustles that could you know like help me save money and help me live like finance my shit and, and stuff like that it was not a reckless decision on my part to drop out of school because i know that i want to make music for life but buying a car knowing that i have a nine to five but i get so fed up with my nine to five sometimes that i just take breaks and i just stop going to work or i just you know i get i get annoyed with like work and shit like that that was a bit reckless because that's not something i'm going to be able to do anymore if ever i want to be able to afford my freaking car and my insurance and everything that comes with it you know like in the winter i have to change my tires i have to you know take care of the car if ever there's something wrong and shit like that so that was a little bit reckless i'm gonna say but i'm never gonna put myself in a situation where i'm uncomfortable in my finances and i can't pay my car anymore because that would just be you know stupid if you follow my journey like this is very big to me my first car i I'm financing it i sent all the papers myself i worked on my credit like crazy in order to be able to just go and purchase a car like this one and not have anybody co-sign with me it's a lot of shit for me i'm glad i 
made the step i think 2020 is a big year for me and i know that 2020 has been a shitty year for a lot of people but on my part i've just been very very blessed i just can't wait to see what the rest of the year has for me actually because it's been full of surprises for me like i, I can't even say but yeah that's pretty much it i'm also gonna show you guys my baby you guys can ask me whatever questions that you have i'm very open to answering any questions in the comments and shit so don't be shy talk to your girl i'm paying big bills right now you know what i'm saying like it ain't no joke no more you know what i'm saying like careful who you talking to